In southeast Nevada, Gail Kaiser's family knows water. Since 1957, they've owned a marina on the banks of Lake Mead, a marina they have to keep moving as the lake keeps shrinking. I think that we all know that there's going to be water issues for some time to come now. And, uh, and it was a wake-up call. Lake Mead's plunged to below half its full capacity. Worrisome to Las Vegas, which gets 90% of its drinking water from the lake. Worrisome to two million homes in three western states that rely on the lake for hydroelectric power. Water is a growing American crisis, and the southwest is where the well could run dry first. If you stripped it all away... Pat Mulroy heads the Southern Nevada Water Authority. We have a higher per capita use in this country than anywhere else when it comes to water supplies. We've got to change. On average, Americans use more water and waste more water than anyone in the world. And in many areas from coast to coast, demand and drought have caught up with water supply, and fights over water have begun. Steve Solomon is the author of the new book, Water. Water is the new oil, um, and the, some of the conflicts uh, that we had in the 20th century over oil, we're going to see similar uh, conflicts in, over water in the 21st century. Tonight on the CBS Evening News, we'll look at where America stands on water, who stands to lose or go thirsty, and surprisingly effective programs to change our water habits before it's too late. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Las Vegas.